Okay. Um, today, I'm going to talk a lot about Cassie Lemons. Um, I, <laughs> and mostly it's because I had mentioned Samuel Jackson doesn't have a lot of love scenes uh, in his films, but actually in the Cassie Lemons films, he does. If you don't know her, um, they were first in a film together, a Spike Lee film called School Days, Samuel Jackson and Cassie. Uh, and to go to to bring this, <laughs> if you've never seen School Days and you may not have seen it, uh, there was a controversy some time ago where a reporter confused Samuel Jackson with Lawrence Fishburne. This made this makes no sense to me. I that one I don't get. And if you ever need, if you really have ever had that problem before, you should watch School Days because in it, Lawrence Fishburne, Samuel Jackson are both in the film, and Samuel Jackson asked Lawrence Fishburne uh, if if he's black. <laughs> so. Uh, that that f should burn in your mind uh, what the two um, look like, who they are. They're very different people. Samuel Jackson was not on Pee Wee's Playhouse. Um, Samuel Jackson was not in The Matrix. Uh, <laughs> if you've really ever had that problem, I hope I've just solved that for you. So that was Cassie Lemons, though. In in a, in a lot of she was in a lot of small roles um, as an actress. And uh, like some actresses and actors, they go, you know what I really want is to, to direct. And uh, luckily that worked out really well. She's an awesome director. Uh, uh, she most, I think the last film she did was like Nativity Story, kind of under the Tyler Perry thing, I think. Is Tyler Perry part of that? I can't remember. Um, and then Talk to Me with Don Cheadle, but she did two films. Man, I hope that Tyler Perry... I'm not even sure now. Don't even worry about that. He's involved in lots of stuff. I mean, you know, he's a major producer in, like, Black Panther. He doesn't just dress up like a woman. Uh, he actually he actually does a lot uh, of cool stuff. Here you go. And the... Uh, Okay, the Miss Valentine um, was the film I was talking about earlier. But we'll start with Eve's Bayou. This is the uh, Lionsgate signature series. Signed and, and not really signed, but you know. Lynn Whitfield, Samuel Jackson. Uh, it's about uh, him being suave, uh, cheating husband. And. Uh, this family is utterly falling apart, uh, and uh, Roger Ebert said it was one of the best films of the year. I think it's real important, you know, I'm sure Cassie, especially when she was sort of like, wow, this amazing black female director. Cassie is just a good director. If she, Whatever she chooses to do, it's really good. Good. She makes great films. She makes films that people, other people probably wouldn't make, and that's important too. There's a lot of directors who do that. They go, this is my interest, and I don't, I see this hole. And you really, you kind of need to do that as a, as a director. You need to pick a project that's interesting, that's original, and a uh, it's a good idea that people haven't seen. And uh, that's why I really want to, you know, one of the bigger ones I want to cover is Caveman's Valentine. Um, <laughs> it's it's really crazy. You take this... Uh, Sam and Jackson has this kind of drifter. Everybody thinks he's crazy. He is a little bit crazy. Uh... But it's a mystery. He's like, he's like this detective, but instead of it being like Monk, where he's battling his OCD, 
he's battling his mental illness. Um, but, <laughs> but you watch it with like, I've never seen anything like this movie. Uh, and then the best is to, uh, to pick up along the way, uh, this, this, this woman and have kind of a romantic affair while you're being the detective while you're battling the mental illness. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Um, it, it's really fun and it's real neat how they visually, uh, do it with, you know, the, the wings and everything like that. I, I can't really recommend the film more because again, you, you'll never see anything like the film. I barely want to say much about it because you just kind of got to dive in. You're not going to be ready, uh, but you should, uh, you should enjoy it. Um, I really hope Cassie comes back. I mean, she, she's older now. I don't know if she, she still has interest in making films. Maybe she does. Maybe she's going to come out with one next week. Um, but really both, uh, both Sam and Jackson films were absolutely great. Um, uh, I, my only thing, you know, I, I hit on School Days. I don't actually own School Days. Uh, there's a neat copy. It looks kind of like a, like a book, um, like a, you know, like a notebook for school. Um, and that is the copy I'm going to acquire. I'll show it to you sometime. Uh, but I didn't feel bad because I haven't really hit much on Spike Lee yet or Quentin. Again, I'm trying to stay a um, little obscure. Uh, still, I want, you know, I like setting up stuff like this. Um, but who knows? When will I do this? Probably next.